A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Aha! The spell is working! Look, Gamma! Finally we have found one! Oh! A young wizard! A student with amazing potential! Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City! Everyone watching this, including myself, just got a nostalgic overload just, just from that opening title sequence alone. I know it's weird for me to be doing this because, yeah, it's my childhood, but I know when to take my rose-tinted glasses off. So, um, for this, uh, one, let's just take off 25 cents, leave it at that. We should consult the Book of Secrets. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Why does this book need, like, a personality quiz when there's a big, gigantic skip button down there where you can just pick what type of wizard you are? But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Wait, I thought you were teleporting me from my realm to your realm. It sounds more like you're trying to make me an avatar that I can plug my essence into. So this game came out in 2005, and the Harry Potter influence is very strong, as you can tell. Well, hello, if it isn't our newest student. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. Hello, Dumbledore, who looks like he just been peeled off a cereal box called Wizzos. To test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a mass wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Yeah, this is basically Harry Potter meets Yu-Gi-Oh! in World of Warcraft. Who's that? Malister. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. And look, there's also an evil dark wizard. And unlike Harry Potter, it doesn't just boil down to being fantasy Star Wars. Well, not yet, anyway. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malistare himself. Uh, wait, I thought the troll was a rank 2 spell. If you can modify how many pips the spell costs, why don't you just give me an OP spell and let me one-shot them? Oh my, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. For mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack? Oh my, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Look, I know you're worried about me, but I could probably surmise what the big red glowy thing does. And, um, the Dark Wizard of Death is in front of us. Why aren't you taking care of him like you so thoughtfully said earlier? So how does the summoning work? Are multiple creatures calling? Like, do I call any Thunder Snake when I call uh, the Thunder Snake spell? Or is it like, one is bound to me because I have its card sort of deal? We interrupt this chapter of Wizard 101 to bring you Ents from Lord of the Rings. Okay, I just got a face full of fire. How do I not look like Archie Benjamin? Is my HP also working like the, uh, the morphing grid taking damage so my physical body looks unharmed and is unharmed for the most part? Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. 
You old fart. If you can give me an unlimited supply of regular pips, why not just give me an OP spell and let me wreck them? This would save so much time! Oh, excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less? Yeah, the thing you should have been doing and what I originally thought you were doing during that whole duel I had? What's that? You don't know how to speak. Oh, my pardon. Okay, was I just isekai to Wizard 101 and I have to follow the rules of this reality? Because if I'm from Earth, I know how to speak. I'm speaking to you right now. How am I not knowing how to speak? It used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. Guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Why well, call them strange creatures when you know they're undead? Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. You know, frankly, I'm not sure how you can manage against the undead, especially incorporeal beings like apparent lost souls. So if I was the only one Headmaster Ambrose assigned to, you know, investigate Unicorn Way, then who are these guys? Are they also investigating Unicorn Way? Because I think an army of students would have been nice to know were helping me. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Puh! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies! So just because they're wearing pirate gear and talk like pirates, you won't go near them. So if I just put a pirate hat on, like, a prop skeleton, you wouldn't go near it. I should feel bad or upset that you're not doing your job, but that's actually kind of funny. Parley, parley! Ye got guts, little wizard. More than us to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> that was more you gloating than actual negotiation. And, um, let me remind you, the rules of parley and the pirate's code, they're more like guidelines than actual rules, so I can still pulverize you. Thanks again, young wizard. Maybe I can find another helpful young wizard to help sweep up all these eye patches. Or, I don't know, you could rip up the leather and sell it. Make a purse out of it, I guess. See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. I mean, playing the pronoun game isn't exclusive to pirates. Pretty much everyone does it when they want to be vague and mysterious. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Wrestle it out of them. What, are you expecting me to pick them up after I defeat them and give them a shake? What do you mean like this? There is one more door we could open, but I'd rather not because, um, I don't want to see what the internet has thought up. Funny, I remember there being a rank one fairy queen boss on this stretch of street. I guess they removed it. No clue why, though. So much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. There is literally only two towers on this street. It wouldn't be that hard to find one ringed in bone. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! Good work, my thrall. This could be the toe Madister seeks. Now we... What's this? A wizard? Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> I don't remember why Rattlebones was demoted from pronoun boss to pronoun elite enemy, because he's a boss, obviously, of Unicorn Way. But I gotta take off some points. Nostalgia. You just received an egg in your backpack. It's not a pet yet, but you can mouse over it to see how long the egg will take to hatch. Once it hatches, you can equip it just as you would any other pet. <laughs> just like Pokemon. I question how some of these species hatch from eggs. 
like all the mammalian species. And just a heads up, whenever you get a pet, its name is chosen randomly. And of all the names you could have gotten, Krusty Lily. I'm pretty sure if any woman tells you she's crusty, you should drop everything you're doing and run for the hills. Whoa, whoa there, chum. Stop a second and introduce yourself. Me? I'm Boris, Boris Tallstaff, ace reporter at the Ravenwood Student Gazette. Extra, extra! Now I'm not wouldn't done know how to shut his trap, so got himself shot up and left in storm drain. You know, I wonder what the need for all this tutorial stuff is really needed for, because when I started playing, they already had a million players. Heck, they promoted it with giving everyone 101 crowns. And all those other million players figure out how to play the game on their own. So what's the need for the tutorial? From time to time, you'll see icons appear on the right side of your screen. These are tooltips. Click on a tooltip to open it. Many people throughout the spiral will contact you through tooltips to announce new features, events, or spell quests. If you miss a tooltip, look for it in your tooltip log by pressing Q and clicking the top left icon. So basically, it's a magical email, magical text line, magical pager. Okay then, glad to know my magical aura and mind can't receive spam. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. Are you allergic to unicorns or eyes of newt? Good, that takes care of that. To complete your I know it'd be rude to presume, but if you know I'm from a world without magic, why wouldn't you just assume I'm not allergic to anything magical? To complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Welcome. I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. Look, Tower Shield's a good spell, but um, Frozen and Ice Armor take too long to build up reasonable damage resistance. If you gave us cards that gave a shield while dealing damage, maybe we wouldn't be so... turtleish. While in the Storm School, we instruct young diviners to strike hard, fast as lightning! Defeat the enemy before they know what hit them! Hence why the priority of buffs and debuffs always go to the Storm players. Because they can pretty much one-shot anything in the game, aside from their own school, with the mediocre downside of 10 less accuracy. Commanding the elements is indeed impressive, but theurgists of the life school seek harmony with nature, which gives us the power to heal others. Yeah, but what about when it comes to fighting back? Because, spoiler warning, death and life don't get their AoE attacks until level 48. That's near the end of the first arc of the game without using packs to get uh, special spell cards. Meaning for death and life wizards, your game is gonna be an incomprehensible slog to get through. Sorcerers also seek harmony, symmetry in all things. Balance is unique magic from Crocotopia, which supports and enhances the other schools. Sorcerers are definitely the most offensively capable support type, but uh, balance isn't powerful against anything. It's just neutral, in fact. Fireballs and flowers. Fresh magic that. All wizards summon monsters to fight for us, but only the best conjurers dare study the ways of the myth. Oh, you're definitely the Severus Snape of this school, aren't you? You know this game previously had hand-drawn posters for the uh, interaction dialogue. I kind of miss it. Not really sure why they got rid of it, to be honest. Hello, wizard. I'm Lucky Hookline, famous fisher and Pisces collector. You might have heard about the 60-inch whoppa I caught. No? Ah, oh, well, let me tell you. Fishing is a terrific hobby, and you won't find a more relaxing pastime, eh? Huh? If you like, I can teach you how to cast for fish. Magically, of course. Then you can catch your own whoppas. Sure, sure. Add fishing. Make the game more like Animal Crossing. It's not like there's already so much to do in this game without fishing and filling up that fishing catalog. Another important tip to know is that every fish you come across responds only to your presence, no matter what. So don't worry about competition, or that other wizards will scare away the fish. <laughs> You're the only one who can do that. Wait, so the fish will only respond to my presence. So I could just be fishing, they're coming forward, and they could just get trampled by, like, 25 people and be like, Ah, oh, no, nothing's happening. 
You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. Wow. This is worthless. The least he could have given me was a storm healing spell, so that way later in the game when I'm starving for health, I don't need to call in a thirdest friend or wait for one to eventually show up two hours later. Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Question. How come you and none of the other uber-powerful teachers do it yourself? Like, I know there's no game if I don't do it myself, but... You all are master wizards! Why can't you just go to the opposing street of your school, curb stomp everyone in there, and then leave? You shouldn't have come to this tower. No, shouldn't have done that. Gonna interfere when things don't concern you. Like my plan to turn all pets into zombie pets, I hope you'll see you will. When it comes to pets, sometimes undead is better. But wait, some of the pets are already undead. Like goats and wraiths and skeletons. And you can breed them with... This whole tower is just one pet cemetery reference. Let's leave it at that. Well, forgot to mention this earlier. But apparently Penny's name is derived from Penny Dreadfuls which were cheap serial literature produced in the 19th century. The early 19th century. So basically, dollar store horror novels. I don't know how to feel about that. I'll just ding this encounter and move on. Asking, maybe we can guess the combo. Let's see. 00001. No, not it. 00002. Not it. Forget it. This is ridiculous. One hour later. Nine 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 seven. Access denied. Nine 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 eight. Access denied. Nine 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 nine. Access approved. Yes, I am henceforth known as the ruler of all doors. Every single door shall bow before me and open at my command. I am the master of unlocking. Please enter secondary password. No. Has gained enough experience XP from this quest to level up. As pets level up, they can learn new talents. With this talent, you can command your pet to attack. Select your pet's power card. Got a better idea. How about I get a pet with a talent for auto healing and auto buffing me, and we leave it at that. No need to have it attack solo anyway. Hi, I need help. I'm trying to finish this science fair project for Professor Bailstrom, but those golems stole my materials. I really need those back. I've got a few more preparations to make, so if I have to fight the golems too, I'm sure to be late. If I'm late, I'll get a bad grade and... Wait a minute. If you retrieve them for me, I can finish my project and still be on time. I'll need the enchanted wood from one of the wooden constructs in the golem tower. Okay, I get you can't ask one of the millions of other students, but wait, am I getting you wood from the golems themselves, or do they just have the wood they stole from you? Look there, wizard. Do you see that device? It's a teleporter. If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on the street. Okay, this one I just flat out don't get. Are people just that lazy that they complained about running up and down the street? Like, in Wizard City, I guess, since it's the being world, it doesn't have it, but... Usually in the other worlds, you'd have to find the other teleporters, activate them, then you could teleport to and fro without trouble. Storm magic flows through Triton Avenue in a steady current, or at least it did, until all this craziness started. Now the flow has been diverted. It's making the storm creatures that live in the river angry. Lightning eels have swarmed up from the depths and are slithering the muck. If they aren't driven away, their electrical charge could unbalance things even more. Could you go drive some of them away? I mean, they are still fish. They do need water to breathe. Or do they use, like, storm magic to sustain themselves? When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. That make any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? I don't know. Like, why does the Harvest Lord use fire magic? Why do the skeletons on Firecat Alley use ice magic? 
Why do the uh, Scarlet Screamers farther down the street use myth magic? Why do the uh, field guards use storm magic as well? Was there a need to put a reagent vendor here when there's already one in Old Town? Next to the bazaar? Especially considering that all this guy really does aside from vending reagents is give us the Skull Splitter quest, which Gloria Kendall did in Old Town as well. Not sure why he's here, actually. Diego Santiago Corrigues Ramirez III at your service, young wizard. This guy. Finished! Okay, now you'll need to talk to Torrance and fill it with rainwater. He should know what to do from there. Wait, why do I need to talk to Torrance the Storm Tree specifically? Wouldn't any water work for a Leyden Jar? Well, I guess Torrance's rainwater would be the most pure without, you know, all those things in water, like minerals and such. I don't know. This is excellent. Just what I need for my experiments. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. Question, what experiment do you need a Leyden jar for? I mean, you work in a library. I can't imagine you're experimenting for anything that serious. You hear a hissing deep within the earth. So... You need that charge? I can help you with this. Uh, thank you, random thunder snake who lives under the library? Wizard, I've heard you rescued an assortment of pets from old Judd. Do you still have the one you adopted? If so, do make sure to visit Milo Barker in the pet pavilion. He can walk you through everything you need to know about raising, training, and improving your pet. Sure, let's add a, another layer of sub-game onto this already big-as-hell MMO. Though, to be fair, pets do offer more than just being cute. Like auto-healing, auto-buffing, auto-debuffing, and such. Uh, I know it looks fancy and all, but what's the point in making your merchandise float with magic? Wouldn't that... <laughs> Wouldn't that just make it easier to steal? Oh great, a store that sells kids knives. Although, I guess the proper term is a thame, which is a knife that is used in ritual or magical summoning or whatever. But still, selling knives to kids. Though I question why they're an item when we never use one in the story, and it's only really uses an extra item to give you stat what buffs. What brings you by, wizard? A registration form for Penny Dreadful? Mm, I'm afraid I don't see it here. Which means either she didn't submit one, or it has been moved to the Archivium Melatorium, where it is guarded by the Mad Wraith. We care about protecting personal information. Apparently. You protected it so well, I doubt there's any way we can get it back. your notes. Undead weaknesses. Knife magic and soap. But they're resistant to blades, rocks, and rolled up newspapers. I had pretty similar results. Let's call this study successfully reproduced. I mean, obviously life magic would be powerful against things that are dead. Although considering that rotting fodders, field guards are not death creatures, they are storm. Yeah. The more I think about Malister, the more it doesn't make any sense. Why would someone so good suddenly turn so bad? I just wish I could ask him. If I could find him, maybe he'd tell me. I know he used to live in the dark cave before it was sealed. Maybe he's hiding out there now. I'll leave my spell book here, just in case I'm wrong, so my new friend can come help me. What the hell? I wasn't even gone for five minutes. How the hell did you make it to the dark cave already? I've got lots of more crystal. I could grind you another one, but the wheel's broken. Undead stole the wheel cogs and scattered them all over. But even if I could grind you a crystal, I couldn't charge it. My lightning rod won't work. A scarlet screamer stole the primary coil. Could help get me up and running again. Gather up the cogs and get my coil back from the Scarlet Screamers. And what sort of boon is the uh, undead after for disabling the Lumina Crystal uh, Mill? I mean, 
it doesn't exactly pose a benefit to anyone broken. So, why did they break it? Is it weird that that scream was used in the uh, HBO Max series Prime Evil? Specifically that uh, Egyptian queen woman who captured Fang and uh, Spear? Yes. Yes, it was kind of weird. Though some suspect there is a world of Tritons waiting to be found. And strangely, that world is not Celestia, which is literally a world of nothing but water. Funny story, the guy who gives the Kraken quest used to live on that ridge. I understand now why they swapped places, because it'd make weird sense that someone was living on a random cliffside with no way to get to the rest of the street. Malastare helped cast the spells that sealed the cave so long ago. If only he were here, I'm sure he'd fix it. What's that old saying? Blind faith is the death of reason? Hey gang, thanks for checking out my music, and I hope you enjoy the new Winter Tusk area of Wizard 101. See you in the game. Nick Jonas? What the hell are you doing here? I think actually a better question is, why are you still here? Winter Tusk is old now. Oh, you can give us Nick Jonas and keep him in the game, but the Celine Gomez quest that introduced Crab Alley, you no, you just can't have that anymore. Even though it leads into the return of Crab Alley subplot. Time for Figado! Burnt out ends of smoky days! The stale cold smell of morning! Fire for Figado! <laughs> you know, when Wizard City got an HD remaster update, um, I was all for it. Until I realized that the Fire Elves now look so. cursed. Yeah, <laughs> they look. They look weird. What do you want then? Do I know where the old witch is? Hmm, I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that the bedeviled fire elves stole my strong box. My entire month's earnings are in that box, wizard. You get my strong box back. Wink, wink. And maybe I'll remember the answer to your question. People are getting hurt and otherwise dying. And it would take such little effort to just shove you off the world watching you float in an endless void so uh how about you help me instead of being an ass we interrupt this chapter of wizard 101 to bring you the hacking minigame from bioshock Okay, yeah, these guys are officially cursed now. Um, actually, quite literally. Uh, double the sin counter, because um, I, I don't want to see that face again. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. Wow, uh, that's horrible. A uh, co-star accidentally uh, cremates their co-star... <laughs> What the fuck, man? Could I beg your help again, wizard? After I went home to hide the strong box you rescued, my house was looted. Not once, not twice, but thrice! As a relic stealer, I had set out several rare and immensely valuable items I'd hoped to sell to the crowds coming in for the fire festival. Why would you set them out in your own home instead of keeping them in a lockbox or something until, like, a minute or two before the festival. You were just asking for them to get stolen. Oh, sorry. You startled me. I'm just so worried about my precious fire kitties. Okay, so I looked up who uh, Eleanor's voice actress is because it sounds like Sheila Broflovsky. And turns out this character, and I think actually her voice, is the original uh, Eleanor Abernathy from The Simpsons. The crazy cat lady. So that's cool. That's a sin off. Oh, take our Herkimus bone. We'll dig up another to record our sickened beats upon. Uh, we interrupt this chapter of Wizard 101 to bring you Rude Boy and the Scottastics from 
Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, apparently. In the beginning, there was the Dragon Titan, an immortal being capable of burning an entire world or rekindling a soul's lost spark. Wait, why the Dragon Titan specifically has the power to raise the dead? And, you know, them not being undead. You'd think there'd be, like, some ultimate creature of life that does this. Sweeney needs new armor again? <sighs> you know, those guard suits are designed to last a hundred years. Somehow, that guy goes through them every month. First time, okay. He jumped down a dragon's throat to rescue a student. Wait, I thought all the dragons were confined to Dragonspire. I guess I could fly here, but then again, I think most of them are dead. So where and how did a dragon get to Wizard City? What? The trolls summoned to defeat the Cyclopses have joined up with them and captured my student assistants? What did you do? Oh, eat it. Dick, Nolan. I literally just got here, you told me that they ran off, and suddenly it's my fault the trolls are doing this? Go to hell. Anyway, here's the old Grumps package. All his laundry clean, pressed, and folded correctly. No matter what he says. Well, that certainly took you long enough. No doubt Victor folded my robes improperly as well. Some people just like to complain. And some people are so selfish they don't care about others. Like those children who might be dying to Cyclopses. But I guess we just call that subspecies Karens, don't we? The trolls are revolting, you say? Yes, that is a problem and it must be dealt with harshly. Take this note to Headmaster Ambrose at once. I will not expel you. I realize Professor Drake takes particular umbrage at the trolls are revolting joke, but this is simply too far. I mean, if he's expelling kids at just telling a joke, maybe, um, fire him. Get a new myth professor. Preferably one who's not a Snape or a sourpuss. Therefore, my first order of business is to have you go fight Cyclopsicles until one tells you where the students are. Cyclops plural is Cyclops. It's like with Pokemon. Cyclops I, Cyclopses, Cyclopsicles. That's all dumb. Master Stormgate doesn't get swallowed by his own humongo frog again. We interrupt this chapter of Wizard 101 to bring you Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world. See, this is the rotting fodder portrait that came from the earlier days of this game. Back when most of the portraits were, like, storybook drawn. And I still don't know why they changed them. They were fine as is. Granted, it looks like the Are You Okay, you know, that Michael Jackson creepypasta monster, but... It's a zombie. Why wouldn't it look creepy? Down here, near the... Yes, me! Fear me! For I am a prince of Darkmoor, cursed to be a bunny, beaten by a vampire. I am a ghostly vampire bunny. We interrupt this chapter of Wizard 101 to bring you Bunicula and Kilgore from My Life as a Teenage Robot. Seriously, fuck that guy. In its most rarefied form, myth is the magic of the mind, the energy of thought and imagination. But in its current application, the myth school is relatively young, relying as it does on fables and legends that needed first to be written. Okay, so if current modern day myth users need like something written down to, you know, conjure something from their imagination, um... Why not just write something up and then imagine it and then you have, like, an eldritch being at your command? Myth is overpowered in the sense of the lore, but it's not in reality. More like this wizard was successful, bro. Doesn't look like you moved an inch since you got us captured. No, no, let's not point fingers. We succeed and fail as a team. And I will report our success to Professor Drake as such a team effort. 
Whatever you say, Nolan. Wizard, you should head back to Sergeant Mulder. Ugh, Nolan's one of those students, isn't he? The kind where you're all assigned a group project, yet he doesn't do a damn thing about it. He's off at Starbucks getting a Slurpee while you're hard at work at home getting insomnia and trying to get the report done before the deadline. The useful ones, anyway. What? No, not Malastare. I don't serve Malastare. I serve Lord Nightshade, Keeper of the Darkness. He serves Malastare. If you serve the server who serves Lord Malastare, then you serve Lord Malastare. Foul gaze, more like fog gaze. And he rules even now from the place of our banishment, the hub of our new undead kingdom, the haunted cave. You know the one I tried? It's ours. <laughs> Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you all were banished because after becoming undead, you became malicious. So that banishment is warranted. And thanks for telling me where your master is, you dumbass. Down the way. Well, I say he lives. He doesn't live. He's dead. He unlives in the tower. If you go fight him and survive, can you bring me a souvenir? Gee, thanks for offering your help in helping me fight the wraith that is literally beguiling all of Wizard City. If if you are a living being, then yes, you are alive. Undead or otherwise. Yes, they're not technically alive, but there's a weird line about that. You truly think to face me, Wizard? Do you have any concept of what I am? No mere ghost lost in the ether. Darkness. See, now this is a badass villain, and may I add, greatly designed for a wraith. He is Skeletor, who looks like the Angel of Death. Can't get much more awesome than that. I'll take off too soon. Ah, uh, you believe Malister is hiding in Nightside? That explains much. It would conceal him from all but Bartleby. Thus, the theft of his eye. But I see your plan. I can enchant these ghostly pumpkins to transfer their vision into yours, allowing you to see that which dead things see. Okay, so previously, Lord Nightshade just had a key that unlocked a door in the waterfall, which led to Nightside, which was like an underground-ish site where the Death School fell into. But now, apparently, Nightside is the other world and Ghostly Realm, so we have to get a pumpkin? Like, why change that? that? That's stupid. And that doesn't explain why it's under the waterfall in the common area. Or how no one just looked over the edge and said, Hey, look, the Death School's still there! And it's intact! He feigned an explosion and shifted the very land upon which the school sits here to the night side. See what I mean? Like, how did no one just look where the Death School was into the chasm and say, Oh look, the Death School's not destroyed, it just sunk into the earth and is on the dark side of the world. Old-fashioned methods to find out. Take these two spiral keys. They will grant access to the world or inside Bartleby. Even in his current state, he can guide you from there. And now suddenly we're tapping into Kingdom Hearts with keys, sacred world doors, and traveling the other worlds to stop ultimate darkness. Done by an old dude who is upset at something. Beware, young wizard. The street you now have access to contains battles which are handled a little differently. There can be more opponents at one time compared to the amount of players participating in the battle. Be very careful. Okay, explain to me why the gobblers attack us in pairs but the undead don't. I mean, if they want to stop us, you think they'd do that instead of doing one-on-one -on -one duels. Well, that didn't seem to make a dent in those gobblers at all. They're still eating the city. Yeah, who would have thought defeating two out of probably hundreds wouldn't make a difference at all? It's almost as if none of them could even see that I defeated them so easily. Oh dear, I was afraid of that. It was an accident. I didn't mean to summon those gobblers. And those evil snowmen aren't doing a thing to help. They're actually causing more trouble. I mean, hello, evil snowmen. 
That's why you only summon them in battle, not to do stuff for you. Speaking of which, are the Evil Snowman references to the R.L. Stein book, Beware the Snowman? I don't know, I just thought that was a coincidence, I don't know. Tiny Wizard! Hello, Tiny Wizard! Have you come to surrender your city? Look, dumbass, I've dealt with enough insurrection today from the undead. I don't need it from a bunch of gluttonous idiots who just can't stop eating. What? This decree doesn't even make sense. It's just pictures of ice cream and chickens drawn in crayon. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly. The gobblers may be a larger problem than we realized. I hate to ask, but you need to go duel some of them to test their strength. No worries, Headmaster. They're extremely weak. Just get any of the professors and we can pretty much shoo them out by dinner time. As the uh, big fat salmon roast stinking lovers that they cement are. What? This plan calls for challenging the Gobbler King's two closest advisors, Baron Greebly and Baron Rotunda. Out of all the references this game has made today, I did not expect a Baron Greebly reference to Captain Planet's Greedly. Find streets, creep monsters, horrors, tricks, and treats. Seek while ye can this dark delight. They'll vanish soon after Halloween night. Find jack-o'-lanterns all carved and round from where they hide in Wizard Town. Trick or treat. Trick or treat is how we greet. Oh, gee, thanks. Apparently, they're just putting loose change in their pockets in these pumpkins for trick-or-treaters. You dicks. Although, thinking about it, if one person were to go to every house in the cul-de-sac getting up at most 25 cents, they could walk away from with at most $20, so it's not that bad. There, ye learned your keep. Claim this reward. My gift's not cheap. Oh, yes, it is. Aside from entry-level wizards, all that you give and what your brothers give is cheap. It doesn't even scale with the level you are. You're just stuck with, like, level one gear. If idle time is yours this day, leave old Jack. Get underway. Jack's heard it said on the shopping street that blue ghosts march on phantom feet. Funny rhyme, but, uh, the ghosts here are just literal sheets. No phantom feet to speak of. Seek ye now Jack's brothers for. Each will give ye a path to follow. And I, we're all called Jack. Our mother, bless her heart, her head was hollow. All your heads are hollow. You are scarecrows. In fact, there's nothing in you at all. You don't have a heart. You don't have a brain. They're hungry after your quests. Have some apples. Be my guest. They're not for free, if that's what ye thunk. Gollum Court's where they're at. And to get them, ye must dunk. God, now, now I want some apple cider. Damn it. Get dunked. Also, putting this out there, all these quests are the same. Same trick-or-treat quests, same ghost-finding quests, same apple-picking quests. I mean, I don't expect them to make a new quest every year, but... Maybe scale it. You've sure proven a ghost trapper among the most skilled. So catch me some more. By now, ye should be thrilled. These ghosts are orange, unlike all the rest. Poor Jack can't rhyme orange. I'm just like the rest. So Apparently, people don't know what color an orange is either. And others think its name is the same as its color, just like a lemon. 